Hi, this is Dave, Fellering Guide. In one of the last navigation challenges or quizzes that I set on social media, I had quite a few people asking about contour interval and index contours. Um, and people weren't exactly sure of the exact meaning of those, so I'm going to do a little um, chat here just talking about those topics, hopefully explaining them a bit clearer. So here we've got um, sort of a 3D representation of a hillside or a mountainside uh, and it's got them, some contour lines drawn on it. So a contour line is an imaginary line that's drawn either on the landscape or on a map joining places of equal height above sea level. So here we've got the 900 metre contour line shown. On the map or the image that we're looking at now, we can see that these contour lines are going in tens. So that's 950, coming down 940, 930, 920, 910, 900, etc. So the vertical interval between the contour lines there is 10 metres. What we'll also notice on this image is that every fifth contour is shown as a white line. So here we've got the 850, 900, 950. Now these are called index contours. On a map they're actually shown as slightly thicker or slightly bolder than the other contour lines between them. But these are 50 metre vertical intervals between the index contours. So here they're either going to end in a hundred, as, as in a nine hundred, or a fifty, i.e. eight fifty. So eight fifty, nine hundred, nine fifty. And if the mountain went higher, the next one would be a thousand. So we've got contours with a vertical interval of ten meters, and then every fifth contour is an index contour. If we just look at the shape of this mountain in front of us, we can see it's got a very steep sided left hand side as we look at it. But then coming down off the summit, down the right hand flank, it's much easier angled all the way down. And actually, if we just move this slightly, we see that it gets quite a lot steeper after the 860 meter contour, it drops away more steeply. So let's see if we can see what that looks like if we tilt the map. So that's looking at it from above. And what we can see is on the left hand flank, we've got these this steep slope with the contours are very close together and then coming down the right hand side contours are much more widely spread apart and then we can see again this flattening off area here between the 870 and the 860 meter contour and then dropping away much more steeply again after that 850 meter contour so what does it what does that actually look like on an ordnance survey map? So here we've got the one to twenty five thousand ordnance survey, and we're looking from here across to the mountain summit. So again, we can see the contour lines. We can see the index contours here slightly bolder. So the nine fifty, nine hundred, eight fifty, eight hundred, etc. And we've got the interval the the intermediate contours in 10 meter intervals so that'll be 940 930 920 910 etc on the left hand side of the summit as we're looking across we can see the contours are really tightly packed together where the ground is steep and then less so as we come down the right hand flank we can see that flattening there look that slight plateau between the 870 and 800 60 meter contours and then after the 850 it drops away again much more steeply. So that's the 1 to 25,000 map. 1 to 50,000 
maybe shows it a little bit more clearly. Again, we've got the index contours there, the bold ones, the 900, 850, 800. Very close together on the left hand side, dropping down. Less steep on the right hand side, and we can clearly see this plateau here between the 870 and the 860, and then the, after the 850, dropping away steeply again. Now, normally, there are four contour lines between each of the index contours. So you can see that here. But look what happens here where the ground gets very steep. Here, there's only two contours between the 850 and the 900 index contours. Similarly here, there's only two. You can see the 840 contour line, it comes along here and then it just suddenly stops. Now the reason for that is there's simply not enough room between the index contours for the map maker to draw every contour on. So some of them are omitted. See another one there, look. But the bold index contours, they're not omitted. They're always shown on the map. So we could look at the map and work out the height by looking at these index contours. So that's what index contours and the vertical interval means. And that's how they look on a map. Hopefully that's explained a little bit to you and you can understand if you weren't sure. What I'm just trying to do is give you a representation of what contour lines look like in two dimensions and then translate that into what they look like in three dimensions. So I hope that helped. Keep your eyes open for more navigation challenges.